everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i am going to discuss about social plan okay so what is mean by planning so planning is considered as a process of preparing blueprint of action to attain certain objective within a time frame okay so that is considered as planning but i think we should know about planning from the view point of jawaharlal nehru he actually set up national planning committee towards the end of 1930s so he viewed planning as a way of developing our country okay or in other sense moreover we can say that consider planning as a positive instrument for resolving imbalance and uh, the contradiction like a country like india heterogeneous a uh, country like india need certain planning for the uh, for resolving these kinds of imbalance and contradiction okay so moving on to the objectives of planning okay so as we all know that the directive principle of our uh, constitution visualizes economic and social order based on equality of opportunities social justice and right to work so these directive principle give a guideline for our state policy okay so the planning in india should follow this guideline and to initiate action which will in due course create desired social and economic pattern okay so there are mainly four long term objective which was set by planners in india so they are first one to achieve full employment okay so second one to reduce inequality of income wealth and third one to set up a socialist society based on equality and justice and absence of exploitation and last one to increase production to the maximum possible extent so as to achieve higher level of national and per capita income so these are the four objective for planning okay long term objectives of planning so next we need to discuss about a uh, five year plan because five year plan was considered as a vehicle of planning okay so the first five year plan was from 1951 to 56 so it provided uh, the first milestone of rural development through community development programs okay second five year plan was from 1956 to 1961 and its main focus was on to the industry development of our country okay this plan was successful and they achieved growth rate of 4.1 percentage so moving on to the third five year plan so the third five year plan's duration was from 1961 to 1966 so the main focus of the third five year plan was to make uh, economic independence okay but unfortunately due to china war they were unable to uh, reach into the target point okay target percentage of achievement i think next i should mention about plan holiday that was actually from 1966 to 1969 the main reha, uh, reason behind forming the plan holiday was actually indo pak war and the failure of third five year plan okay so they gave more importance for uh, forming annual plan also they gave priority for agriculture sector and allied sector also the industrial sector okay so moving on to the fourth five year plan there were mainly two objective for forming the fourth five year plan first one growth with stability and progressive achievement through self reliance during this time the slogan garibi hatavo is given by indira gandhi okay but uh, unfortunately this tar, uh, plan actually failed they only attained 3.36 percentage instead of 5.7 percentage so moving on to fifth five year plan the duration was from 1974 to 1979 okay so in this plan they gave priority to agriculture then to industry and to mines okay so overall this plan was actually successful they actually reached into 4.8 percentage instead of 4.4 percentage and important things as i mentioned before the duration was actually from 1974 to 1979 since they achieved it they actually terminated the plan from 1978 okay. later they made another annual plan called rolling plan okay so this plan is actually from 1978 to 79 so as i mentioned before the duration was from 1974 to 19 78 since they terminated in 1978 they made another plan called rolling plan from 1978 to 79 okay so moving on to sixth five year plan that was actually from 1980 to 1985 so the basic objective of sixth five year plan was poverty eradication and 
technological self reliance and its growth target was 5.2 percentage but they achieved 5.7 percentage okay so moving on to seventh five year plan that was actually from 1985 to 1990s okay so here they gave more priority or we can say that the objective of seventh five year plan was actually self sufficient economy and opportunities for productive employment so it is actually the first time the private sector got priority over the public sector okay but its growth rate was 5 percentage but they attained 6 percentage okay so but eighth five year plan actually not made immediately it was actually made from 1990 to okay. two annual program from 1990 to 91 and 91 to 92 later in 1992 they formed the eighth five year plan So moving on to eighth five year plan that was actually from nineteen ninety to nineteen ninety seven. Okay, so during this time they gave more priority for the development of human resources. So ninth five year plan was from nineteen ninety seven to two thousand two. The main focus was of this plan was growth with justice and equity. and it was launched in the 5th year of independence of india going on to 10th uh, five year plan that was from 2002 to 2007 so the main objective or we can say that the main aim uh, of this plan was actually to double the per, per capita income of india for the next 10 years okay also another aim was actually uh, to reduce the poverty ratio of 15 percentage by 2012 Eleventh five year plan duration was from two thousand seven to two thousand twelve. It was prepared by C. Rangarajan. So its main theme was faster and inclusive growth. Moving on to the last five year plan that is twelfth five year plan. The duration was from two thousand twelve to two thousand seventeen. Its main theme is actually faster. more inclusive and they added one more term sustainable growth okay so that was actually the last five year plan of india because uh, the present nta government has stopped the formation of five year plan so the 12 five year plan would be called as the last five year plan of india okay so later the niti ayog which has replaced the planning commission So I will discuss about Niti Aayog in my upcoming classes. I think now we can discuss about some of the approaches of planning. Okay. Under approaches to social planning, first one is sectoral planning. So planning by individual sectors like education, health, housing, and social security are included in sectoral planning because this approach advocates compartmentalization of development in different sectors. as if these are water tightened compartment and have nothing to do with each other and its inadequacy stem from this compartmentalized approach and little attempts is made to integrate them second approach is area development approach so this approach contemplate that development of an area depends not only on the development of an adequate infrastructure network but also the way factors of the local economy are activated around the production infrastructure in other words for development of an area spatial and functional integration is necessary so moving on to the last one integrated development approach so the integrated development approach has been developed because the area development approach by and large failed to address the question of inequalities in the distribution of employment incomes and assets the concept of integrated rural development came into work with the need for a multi purpose trust to rural planning it stresses that various facets of rural development which have an impact on rural life are interrelated and cannot be looked at in isolation so the various dimension of rural life growth of agriculture and allied activities rural industrialization education health public work poverty alleviation and rural employment program all form a part of an integrated approach to the problem of rural development so these were the important point for today's video so if you have any doubt you can comment below this video or else you can mail me on my mail id so thank you so much for watching my video so thank you if you like the content please subscribe like and share with your friends thank you